We got a chance to speak to the cast of Madam Web. Check out our conversation with director S.J. Clarkson. Tell me this. Let's talk Madam Web. Uh, mm -hmm. I've heard you describe the movie as a sort of psychological thriller. And when I was watching it, it felt like it had a bit of a throwback look to it. Uh, I was getting like Jonathan Demi, Irvin Winkler, maybe like the psychological thriller of the 1990s. Was that a look you were going for? And were those movies a kind of inspiration? Uh, Am not, I off? No, not specifically. But, you know, there is, you know, it is a psychological thriller. And I sort of went across the board at looking at films. You know, I even looked at Heat, you know, because I knew I wanted there to be a scene with the uh, villain and Cassie. I wanted there to be a face off between them. And and that scene where Pacino and De Niro meet in the coffee shop, I always thought was extraordinary. Yeah. And so I definitely watched that a few times and kind of went, what's the essence of that and what makes a great scene when a protagonist and antagonist meet. Um, but I also looked at like Nick Rogue's Don't Look Now, you know, and that's sort of the thrilling element and the sort of the color red, which I thought was, you know, obviously something I wanted to infuse into Madame Webb. And, you know, and there are also things like um, Inception, you know, and Memento and those things that play with the mind because I wanted to make sure we yeah. got inside her mind, you know. So without doubt, it was a broad spectrum of sort of thrillers, you know, some horrors, although I really struggle watching horrors. I have to watch it with the sound off because I do get quite scared by them. And I, and I that's why I think I enjoy having those sort of scary moments, you know, because I get to control it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. I get to know when it's happening. Um, but so there was a lot of films that I sort of watched in the in the in the making of this. Oh, very cool. Um, in the press for this movie, um, there seems to be a narrative that it's a standalone feature mm -hmm. um, as opposed to being part of a universe. Now, I don't believe that the superhero fatigue thing is a thing. I think people just want good stories. But maybe, and I wanted your opinion on this, is the whole cinematic universe fatigue thing a real, like a real thing? Because... Are people tired of doing homework before going to watch movies, do you think? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, there is no homework required for this film. It's a new world with a new character and new characters or ones that have only ever been on the periphery, which I think make it quite interesting. But I think to your point earlier, you made a really great point about, you know, we want great films, right? And and it doesn't really matter the genre. You know, I can go and love a rom-com or a thriller or a horror right. or an action. And as long as it's well made, you know what I mean? I wouldn't say, oh, I only watch this genre. You know, if a movie is well made, you'll go. And I think that's what we've tried to do is just really make a a great film that happens to be within the Marvel world, right? You know, and that gives it that extra special thing on top that definitely you get to play and you get to have a little bit more fun in it. But I think it's to try and get make great characters and really explore the characters and really get beneath the skin of it, make it sort of three-dimensional and make sure the narration and the narrative throughout the movie has a propulsion to it that keeps you on the edge of your seat. Can the action help tell a story and not just be action for action's sake? And I really tried to do that throughout to like keep you gripped so that every Everything was moving you on to the next bit of the story, you know, which to your point, the Jonathan Demi, that's just filmmaking. Right. And they just happened yeah. to do really well at that time. But I suppose it's about sort of just trying to keep that sort of like filmmaking at the front and center and try not to worry too much about kind of the noise of where it is or what it's set, you know, just great characters and keep the film moving. Very, very cool. I'm all out of time. SJ, thank you so much for yours. But before I let you go, um, I loved what you did with Jessica Jones. And the Britney sequence in this movie. I don't want to spoil it for people. Mm -hmm. No spoilers. It's very good. No spoilers. Thank you. And I love your yeah, belief you. sign behind you. Thank you. We all hey. need to believe. Thank, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. Hey, you're showing off. Maybe a little. Madam Webb is now showing in Malaysian cinemas. Check it out. Sound off in the comments. Let us know what you think. And thank you so much for watching.